guys, today I'm going to show you how you can enhance and colour lips in Photoshop 2020. And I'm going to start right now. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is James and if it is the very first time to this channel and you want to learn all about Photoshop, Lightroom and everything photography related, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Now in this tutorial guys, I'm going to show you how you can enhance and colour lips in Photoshop 2020 to really make them stand out in your photos. Now this is part of a series called Enhanced Portraits where I go over a few techniques, tips and tricks on how to really enhance and improve your portrait photography in camera and in Photoshop. So if you want to have a look at any of the previous videos I've done, I've done a few videos on how to enhance and whiten teeth, which was the previous video, and I've done ones on sharpening eyes and creating great skin tones. So if you want to have a look at any of those videos, they'll be in the link in the description. Now guys, if you want to use any of the pre-selected photos that I'll be using in this tutorial, so you can follow along with the same photos that I'll be, go along to the link in the description and you can download them all from there. But without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do guys is to choose an image. Now if you want to choose the same photo that I'll be using in this tutorial, make sure go to the link in the description and you can download it from there. And the photo that we're going to be editing today is this lovely photo that I got off Unsplash and this is called Photo One. So what we want to do is open the lovely world of Photoshop and as you can see on the screen here, I've already got a few effects applied. So if we go through these effects just step by step now, so we've got our enhanced portrait effect, which I have in a previous video. So if you'd like to create this effect, you can if you go to the previous video. And then also we've got enhanced eyes, which as you can see, the before and after of that. And if you want to create this effect, again guys, always go to the link in the description and you can do, have a look at the enhanced eyes portrait. And then I've got ever so slight vignette. And as you can see down here, we have colored the lips. So today, that's the section that we're going to be working on. So I'm just going to delete all the effects. So we start from scratch and we're going to be working on the lips today. So the very first thing that we want to do guys is to work out the shape of the lips. So we need to create a selection of the areas that we want to enhance and color. So the way we can do this is by using any selection tool of your choice. But today I'm going to be using the pen tool. So if you want to click P on your keyboard, or if you go over to the left hand slide, you can select the pen tool. And what we want to do is create a nice smooth selection of the lips. Now, it's depending on what photo you're working on, sometimes the lips aren't very defined. So this is where selecting the area or selecting the lips is quite important. But with this particular image, they're quite prominent and quite colorful already. So this is gonna be quite easy. But it all again, guys, depend on what photo you're going to be working on. So we're going to use the pen tool and just create a nice smooth selection. The smoother selection, the better the re end result will be. So this is the section that you want to spend a lot of time on so you can get it as perfect as possible. So we're going to create this lovely effect here. Brilliant. So if we zoom out, we'll end it up with a selection that looks like this. So again, guys, depending on what tool you've used, I'm gonna be using the pen tool, so you can skip this stage if you've used the lasso tool or any other tool. What you want to do is go ahead to the paths tool and we just need to save this selection. So what we're going to do is just double click on our work path. That's the work path we're working on. What we want to do is just save it. I'm going to just save it as a default name, but you can name it here if you choose. And then what we need to do is press okay. And that has saved our selection. So what we need to do now is just press command and click on that thumbnail. And as you can see, it turns it from a path to a selection already there. Perfect. So what we need to do now is to create a nice smooth gradient from the color to the skin. So what we need to do is kind of slightly blur it or create a feather around the edge. Now, because we haven't got anything selected, a gradient or a, should I say, a 
blur won't work. So we're going to create a feather. So what we want to do is go up to our top panel here. And we want to go to select. We want to go down all the way to modify. And as you can see, we want to have a bunch of these options here. The one we want to select today is feather. Now we want to create a nice smooth feather. So we want a quite large number. So I'd say between either five to 10 pixel. So today we're going to be choosing seven for this image, but this number may differ depending on your photo. And all we need to do is press okay. And there we go. So that's created a nice smooth feather using with the selection. So what we need to do now is we need to color it. So we can do that by creating a solid color layer. So what we need to do is to create this layer, we need to go down to our adjustment layer panel at the bottom right hand corner, and we need to click and we need to go all the way up to the top where it says solid color. Now this is the important part, this is choosing your color. So it comes up with our color picker here. What you can do is choose any color of your choice. So today I'm going to be choosing a nice dark red. I think that will look lovely. So what we can do is select that color and once you are happy, we want to press OK. Now it's not looking realistic at all at the moment. So what we're going to need to do is choose a blending mode. Now, if you're going for a darker tones, you want to choose uh, blending modes that darken the image. And if you've got lighter tones, you want to choose ones that lighten the image. So we're gonna go for, we've got, got a nice dark tone here. What we want to do is choose, and I'm going to be choosing multiply today. And as you can see, it has darkened the lips in this nice way but it's darkened it, I'd say, a little bit too much. So the way we can change this, instead of changing the opacity or the fill, what we're going to do is change its blend if options using the layer stylize box. So what we can do is just double click on that color fill layer one, and as you can see, it pops up with our layer stylizing box. Now, if you have a look at the bottom corner, you can see we've got this underlying layer, and we want to remove all of the dark multiply layer from any of the highlighted areas, and this will lighten the lips. So what we can do, we've got this uh, kind of um, icon here on the right hand white side, so that's the right hand side, we want to drag it left. And as you can see, when we slowly drag it left, you can see the highlighted sections start to appear. Lovely, and then once you have chosen the right amount, we can press Alt, and as you can see, drag them apart. There we go. So once we've uh, created that uh, kind of effect here, what we want to do is create the same color for the highlighted areas. So basically what we need to do is duplicate this layer. So what we'll do is we'll duplicate that layer here. And what we want to do is lighten this section. So we'll create a nice light color, something like so. And then what we want to do is change the blending mode from multiply to screen. Now, it has ruined it, but what we're gonna do is change the blend if options, and we're going to reverse the effect that we've just created. So we're going to remove it from the whites, and we want to remove it from the blacks instead. And we just want it to affect the white areas. So once you've chosen there, again, hold down Alt, and we can split these two panels apart, creating a nice smooth gradient. And you want just the right amount of brightness in the folk in the lips so we'll go for something like so lovely and what i'm going to do is just just bring up the color here so we've got a nice difference lovely and what we can do is we can zoom out we can turn the layer off and on again and there we go guys so that is how you can enhance and color lips in Photoshop 2020. Brilliant, and there we go guys. So that is how you can enhance and colorize the lips in Photoshop 2020. And I hope this guys can really make your photos stand out, especially on Instagram and on your website or portfolio. Again guys, if you want to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, it really, really does help my channel grow. Also, if you want to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my latest content. Also guys, I've got a bunch of t-shirt and hoodie designs on the Teespring store, I've got the link in the description, and you can use my promo code CREATE20 to get 20% off your first order. But until next time guys, keep creating.